Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Kristen is filming from her car. Ooh, I know you're excited. You can actually get kind of a sneak peek of my garage if you look in the lens of my glasses, but you know, ignore what you see. Ignore the man behind the curtain. Anyhow, um, the past couple of weeks on keto have been a little rough. Not gonna lie. Uh, my weight is yo yoed between the same, like, two pounds. It'll go up, it'll go down, it'll go up, it'll go down. And yes, it's been a little frustrating. I had an extremely frustrating day the other day. Excuse me. My kids had me stressed out. And it just was one of those days where you're like, screw this shit, I'm eating what I want. Luckily enough, I had made some keto-friendly jalapeno popper soup. Um, if you want to know the recipe, drop a comment. I can send you the link. Um... Or I'll post a link. Something like that. Excuse me. Um, jalapeno popper soup. It was delicious. Rich, creamy, spicy. It's going to make your ass burst into flames afterwards. But it's so good. Anyway. Well, that day I was so super incredibly stressed. And instead of coming home and opening up a bag of chips or opening up some other not so good for me food I went to my keto friendly soup blew through my macros but instead of going to the junk food I eat the good stuff which bonus anyway um last time I weighed I was at 291 so that means so far my total weight loss is 29 pounds I have one more pound to go for this goal, this next goal, which is pretty awesome. Um, see how it goes. Tonight we had the rosemary butter chicken. <sighs> hmm. Shall we play? How many times can Kristen yawn? Anyway. Um. If you go onto the Keto Connect website, one of the recipes is for the rosemary fried chicken, I think it was called, something like that. Um, delicious. We make it all the time. It's a bit of a process because we, um, I have to feed, what, six of us? So I usually have to make multiple batches of it because I haven't quite figured out how to get it quite nice and crispy and delicious. Um, in a multiple platform like you know when a casserole dish or something like that I haven't quite figured it out yet really honestly I haven't had the time but anyway so it was delicious and the girls deboned the chicken and so I didn't have to do it because it takes me forever to do <sighs> three times for those of you who are counting um but today, we actually, it was a pretty good day. We went to the zoo. We live maybe 25 minutes away from the Cleveland Zoo. So we went up, saw the sloth, saw the baby snow duppers. They were so toot. Just the little bit of things. And um, then, you know, I decided, because, you know, uh, I'm cheap. If I don't have to spend a lot of money, I really don't want to. Um, so we packed our lunch, which was nice, because we got to sit up played ingress while we were sitting there eating our lunch which was fine by me had a good old time with that um brain fart it's been a long week oh my lunch packed a bunch of rotisserie chicken that I had pulled off the bone and put in some spinach leaves two kinds of goat cheese um had a bunch of LaCroix a really good meal. A bunch of pepperoni to snack on. Um, and it was just nice to sit under an umbrella and eat the lunch that we bought instead of going in there and paying $3.50 for a soda. No thank you. There. Yeah. Not my plan. Anyway. Um, I was pretty tickled to see my weight actually drop down a little bit more. Um, we'll just have to go and see how it goes when I actually weigh in for this weight loss challenge, which I have to go and double check and see what the word is, but you know, it'll happen. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Um, thank you for coming back. 
I will talk to y'all later. I'm still intrigued by the, the uh, reflection of my glasses. Anyway, have a beautiful day. Be nice. Be human. See ya.